Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Rockware app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing browser that has an integrated ad block inside. Therefore, it would be a perfect choice if you want to use a web browser on your Fire Stick to watch some media files, movies or TV shows online. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get this browser with the ad block to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To so, we just go to search on your device by clicking on that button with the magnifying glass icon. And there in the search bar, let's start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So let's click on Downloader. And that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So, in order to actually set up the loader, we'll have to go to the settings, so let's do it right now. We click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down, and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, and you cannot find the developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options which have now appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you'll have to go to Install Unknown Apps. From here, just locate Downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. We open it and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Norway right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble, and if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So just go to the list of apps on your device, open up Downloader. There, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. And then, in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be rocker.net. So let's enter it. .net. And here you go, there is the link, you can see it on your screen right now, so make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the link is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And then, after the website has loaded, you just need to click on the download button right here. We click on it, and then you gotta click on the 
get it on Android. So click on that as well and wait until the download starts. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed. In my case I got a pretty fast connection, so it will take just a couple of seconds. Then just click on install and wait until Rocker gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using, of course. And then don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on Delete, and then delete once again. This way you get rid of another set of files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Then finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, let's open it. Wait until it loads for you. And there you'll find Rocker, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. You click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.